hello you are welcome how to solve for x y and z in this nice little problem here yeah, what we have here yeah, you can write it and multiply by 2 raised to power x also divide by 2 raised to power x what is dealing with is 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z then close bracket equals to 148. And this what we have done here 2 is to 5 over 2 is to 5 is like the T1 there. Then we can write this as 2 raised to power x out. Then use this to divide here and have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z. Then over here we have 2 raised to power x, then equals to 1 or 48. Then from here, this fraction here, you can separate it and this will become 2 raised to power x into bracket 2 raised to power x over 2 raised to power x, then plus 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power x now equals to 148 then this becomes 2 raised to power x into bracket here this cancel out we have one left then plus here same thing as 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power x then plus here we have 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power x close bracket then equals to 1 power 48 then here we can swear write this as 2 raised to power x into bracket 1 plus applying the law of indices we have 2 raised to power y minus x now then plus 2 raised to power z minus x then equals to here we can separate 148 as 4 multiplied by 87 and when we look at this this here will give us an even number this here we have everything here will be an odd number so here Four years also even, and thirty-seven years is also an odd number. Then that means here we have two cases. We can equate two raised to power x to be equal to four years, and on this side we have one plus two raised to power y minus x plus two raised to power z minus x be equal to 37 here then here we have 2 raised to power x equals to 4 also is 2 raised to power 2 then we have same base here that means we have x equals to 2 on this side then from here since we have x equals to 2 then we can write this first we can take one to that side and what we have left will now be 2 raised to power y minus 2 now plus 2 raised to power z minus 2 then equals to 37 minus 1 that will give us 36 then from here applying the law of indices we can write it as 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power 2 now equals to 36 and from here 2 raised to power 2 is 4 so we have here as 2 raised to power y over 4 plus 2 raised to power z over 4 now equals to 36 and from here we can multiply through by 4 from here then here becomes 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z equals to here we have 36 times 4. Then from here, 
also we multiply this by 2 raised to power 1 over 2 raised to power 1 that is into back in 2 raised to power 1 plus 2 raised to power 0 then equals to here we have 36 then 4 and then we can also rewrite this and take 2 raised to power 1 inside and here we have 2 raised to power 1 now into bracket 2 raised to power 1 over 2 raised to power 1 plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power 1 then close bracket now equals to here we can write 36 as 9 times 4 then we have times 4 again that is from there this gives us 2 raised to power y into bracket here cancel out we need 1 then plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power y then equals to here we have 4 square then times 9 which is 16 times 9 there that is what we have now it's also the same thing as 2 raised to power y bracket 1 plus here we have 2 raised to power z minus y from the law of indices which is equal to 16 times 9 and from here as well this is even and uh, here we have everything here will be odd and also 16 here we have it as even and here this also is an odd number then it implies here we also have two cases that is we have 2 raised to power 1 equal to 16 and also we have 1 plus 2 raised to power z minus y equals to 9 that is here 16 also can be expressed as base 2 that is we have 2 raised to power y equals to 2 raised to power 4 and here y is equal to 4 then next on this side when we take one to this side this is one so to power z minus y and y is four now equals to nine minus one which is eight then we can also express it to be two that this two is to power z minus four now equals to two is to power three then the base are equal so we have z minus 4 equals to 3 and here we have z now equals to 3 plus 4 now it implies from here that z equals to 7 so we have the values of x y and z in this given problem so therefore we conclude that x equals to 2 and y equals to 4 and z equals to 7 on this given problem so here we have come to the end of this class and we can also check to see if this will satisfy the given problem by substituting the value of x1 and z here to see if it's equal so thank you and don't forget this test. See you in the class.